Hey everyone, it is me, Dave609. It is now time to be going over what to be expecting in the upcoming season, the Texas UAL Marching Band Season 2021. A lot of stuff we're going to be going over today, so let's get straight into the video. The first thing we're going to be talking about, the one that the one thing everybody already knows, all classifications will be competing at state. Now this is going to be a big deal because this is the first time that this has happened since 1990. And so it's going to be exciting to see how everybody will do this season. Now the reason why they're doing it is because of what happened in 2020 because of all the bands that didn't get to compete due to the whole situation. And so UIL is giving a chance for those bands who had to miss out on competing in UIL will now get the chance to uh, try and go for uh, the state contest this year. Now this means that that we're going to be seeing all classifications 1A through 6A. In a normal cycle this year would have been 1A, 3A, and 5A but now 2A, 4A, and 6A are also going to be added in. This is including uh, both open class and military class so there's going to be a lot of bands who are going to try to retain uh, the titles that they earned in both 2019 and 2020 and we're going to quickly look at all the bands that are that won the state championship in both 2019 and 2020 and then uh, all that stuff so first thing we're going to do is look at 2019 so the 1A uh, top three were um, Erwin County High School uh, who got the state champion Whiteface who got second and Eden who got third so they're the 1A top three. They're looking to make it back to the top three once again. In uh, 3A, it was Mineola High School who got first with the state champion. Whitesboro who got second. Queen City who got third. They're looking to make it to the top three again in 3A, 5A. Cedar Park High School who got state champion. Dallas Highland Park High School who got second. And Wakeland High School who got third. They're looking to make get back into the top three in 5A. Now for 2020, since that was basically about, I would say, eight months ago, maybe six months ago. I don't, <laughs> it's been a little bit of, since then. Uh, first at the military contest, uh, top three were Carlisle, Timpson, and Union Grove in uh, 2A. Those were the uh, top three in military class for 2A. And then for 4A, Lindell, Spring Hill, and Gilmer. They're looking to try and make it back into the top three once again if they choose to return to the state military contest instead of going with the open class. For open class, from 2A, it was Thorndale, Forsen, and Post. They're looking to make it back into the top three for 2A. Uh, for 4A, Argyle, Melissa, Burnett, all looking to make it back into the top three for 4A. And then in 6A, Claudia Taylor Johnson, Hebron, and Flower Mound all looking to make it back into the top three for 6A. So there's a lot of bands who are looking to make it back into the top three. Will it happen? Could happen. But as we all know, results change all the time. It is very rare that we see basically same results uh, in back-to-back -back years. So... Yeah, we got a lot of stuff to look forward to for this season, especially with all the bands getting to compete at state contest for first time since 1990. And, at, and this will be a fun one to see. So that's very exciting. Can't wait for that one. The next thing that I want to talk about real quick, this is for classification 5A. Leander ISD, the uh, basically the 2015 Leander ISD is back together again. This is Cedar Park High School, Leander High School, Rouse High School, and Glen High School. This is very exciting because this could bring back the 2015 results with Rouse High School being added into the mix. This would be very exciting. I just wanted to uh, make a quick note on that because I'm personally very excited since I'm a huge fan of Leander ISD. So, yep, there's that. Finally, I wanted to say good luck this season to everybody that is competing this year in the Texas UIL marching band season. To all 
band members, directors, even uh, staff for every contest. Good luck to everyone and we cannot, every band fan around the state of Texas is very excited to see what is in store for this upcoming season. I'm Day609 and let the 2021 season begin.